For hole number one, you can play this shot with any power two, side spin, uh, power two plus, side spin three plus, win three or win four ball. So play with a free to play ball or with a paid ball if you like, it's up to you to decide. Three right spin, four top spin, I'm pushing the rings to avoid having the trees in my way. And it's an NMT, which is a no movement, so don't touch the target until it's time to adjust the rings. No curl whatsoever here, try to hit perfect. The ID here uh, with an adjustment of max plus 10 P3 shall be said uh, is that we're looking to uh, be at 330 yards approximately. We do want to have that little rollout and 331 yards is the same as having a plus nine your turn shake. So if we're going to go based on our um, on the table we're gonna see ourselves at plus six your turn to be as for 328 uh, yards as adjustment so uh, the best way here is to play from your turn plus yardage pack the b52 and take a look at what plus yardage you are in we are in plus nine which is then important to have in mind because our base is plus six 52% slider plus 15% elevation P3 numbers from plus 6. So here we're going to use that as a base, adding 0 0.3. In this angle, we're going to use two clicks of left curl. And this is very important to have in mind because this is a very difficult uh, shot to attack the pin. A lot of bumps and stuff, and then the wind angle tweaks becomes super important. So making the wind angle tweak by using a slight left curl here with two clicks of left curl to compensate for the wind. If we're having more crosswind, we're not going to use any type of curl whatsoever, then we're just going to play as is. Bouncing on the fairway over the bunker and it slows down a little bit to then fall down towards the pin and almost dead center for a lovely eagle on a very tough par 4 with this wind here in Expert. Get the guide on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy.